Hello dear friend, in this video we will talk a little about the Stegosaurus, a huge herbivorous dinosaur, from late Jurassic period, welcome to Dinopedia your dinosaurs channel, this channel create content about dinosaurs, and also about all the fantastic creatures of prehistory, and the events that influenced these beings, let's start the journey at the prehistoric age. What is its name? The name of this animal is, Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus, from Greek, means, roofed lizard. Stegosaurus have some distinct species, here goes some of them. Stegosaurus ungulatus, meaning, hoofed roofed lizard. Stegosaurus stenops, meaning, narrow faced roofed lizard. Stegosaurus sulcatus, meaning, furrowed roofed lizard. Stegosaurus armatus, meaning, armored roofed lizard. What is its size? Stegosaurus, usually grew to a length, of about 6.5 meters 21 feet but some reached 9 meters 30 feet. They have a height about 4.3 meters, and a width of 1.8 meters. Stegosaurus, typically, weighed between, 5.3 to 7 tons, this is equivalent to, 11.7 to 15.4 pounds. What did it look like? Stegosaurus is perhaps, one of the most well-known dinosaurs, thanks to its unmistakable, physical appearance. Stegosaurus Characteristics Overview Stegosaurus, was a large, heavily built, and quadruped, a four-legged running herbivore, with an unusual posture, the back was strongly arched, the front legs were short, the animal held its tail, high in the air, while its head, was held close to the ground, it had plates on the back, and spikes in the tail's end. Stegosaurus Specific Characteristics Stegosaurus, had a relatively low brain-to-body mass ratio, it had a short, and thick neck, and a small head. The Stegosaurus had front limbs, much shorter, than its powerful hind legs, which made it, a slightly strange silhouette. The hind feet, had three short toes, while the front feet had five. Stegosaurus, have four spikes, at the end of the tail. Stegosaurus body, tail, and hind legs, are very strong. The head of the Stegosaurus, looks tiny, compared to the rest of the body. The plates, are usually very large. Stegosaurus's short neck hung low, not more than 3 feet 1 meter above the ground. What did it eat? Stegosaurus was herbivore. It is believed, that Stegosaurus, have eaten plants, such as mosses, ferns, horsetails, cycads and conifers, or fruits. No grass though, because, there was no grass at this time. Where did it live? Stegosaurus was found at, USA, Colorado, Montana, Oklahoma, Utah, Wyoming, mostly associated with the Morrison Formation. Initially, paleontologists thought that, this creature just live in the USA, a partial skeleton, discovered in 2006, places Stegosaurus in Portugal, at the Alcobaca Formation, previously known as the Guimarota Formation. Stegosaurus, belongs to Stegosauria, a group of, herbivorous ornithischian dinosaurs, that lived during the Jurassic, and early Cretaceous periods, Stegosaurian fossils, have been found, mostly in the northern hemisphere, predominantly, in what is now North America, Europe, Africa, South America and Asia, their geographical origins, are unclear, the earliest unequivocal Stegosaurian, Wyongosaurus tabai, lived in China when did it live? They lived some 155 to 145 million years ago, in an environment and time, dominated by the giant sauropods, like Diplodocus, Camarasaurus, and Apatosaurus. The temporal range is, the late Jurassic period, at late Chimerogen to early Tithonian ages. How did it behave? Researchers think they walked in packs, together their relatives, and collaborate, to defend themselves against predators. Eventually, Stegosaurus, must use their strong, and spiked tails, fighting against predators, such as Allosaurus, and Ceratosaurus. Stegosaurus, was relatively slow, compared to other dinosaurs. Sir David Attenborough explains, how this dinosaur would have moved, and created an animation, based on the most complete, Stegosaurus skeleton ever found, affectionately dubbed, Sophie, this specimen, is on display, in the museum's Earth Hall. Most of the time, Sophie would have ambled around at about one and a half kilometers an hour. But at her top speed of six and a half kilometers an hour, 
Those large hind legs must have made a walk in a somewhat ungainly fashion. Those plates on her back most likely served multiple functions. They were possibly some kind of display to others of her kind. They might also have helped her keep cool by dissipating heat from her body. A CT scan revealed that the plates would have been too weak to provide any meaningful protection from an attack. However, they would at least have made her look bigger. But in the event that a predator did come close, those spikes on that tail were far from passive. So if there were any predators around, I wouldn't expect them to be making an easy meal of Sophie. Stegosaurus probably spent most of his time searching for food and feeding on soft, medium, and small-sized vegetation. Paleontologist Miriam Reichel created a 3D model Stegosaurus and discovered that Stegosaurus didn't have a very powerful bite. She said, Stegosaurus may have had a tough beak at the front of its jaws, which took most of the work. During feeding, the teeth were left with the lighter work. Since Stegosaurus jaws were weakest at the front, this might mean that it was only eating the softest and greenest food available. Further study will be required to understand the precise mechanics of how Stegosaurus ate, but, at the very least, Reichel's work confirms that this dinosaur had to carefully pick out soft Jurassic salads for lunch. How was it discovered? Stegosaurus, one of the many dinosaurs first collected and described in the Bone Wars, was originally named by Othniel Charles Marsh in 1877 from remains recovered at north of Morrison Formation, Colorado. These first bones became the holotype of Stegosaurus armatus. The most famous Stegosaurus fossil is the Sophie skeleton, was discovered in 2003 by professional fossil hunter Bob Simon, who was digging at a site called Red Canyon Ranch, in Wyoming. Sophie is so famous, due to its excellent, conservation conditions. Additional information, like many plant-eating dinosaurs, of the Mesozoic era, Stegosaurus, intentionally swallowed small rocks, also known as gastroliths that helped mash up, the tough vegetable matter, in its enormous stomach, this quadruped, would have had, to eat hundreds of pounds, of ferns and cycads, every day, to maintain its presumably, cold-blooded metabolism. Stegosaurus, can be one of the earliest dinosaurs, to evolve cheeks, experts believe, this plant eater, may have possessed primitive cheeks. Why were cheeks so important? Well, they gave Stegosaurus, the ability, to thoroughly chew, and pre-digest its food, before swallowing it, and also allowed this dinosaur, to pack away, more vegetable matter, than its non-cheeked competition. Stegosaurus descended from earlier dinosaurs, that walked only on their back legs, its ancestors, originally, used their short front legs, to pick things up, and grasp them, but in Stegosaurus, they've become modified, to support its body weight. Currently, paleontologists, assume that the spines, served as a defensive function, this is confirmed, by the discovered Allosaurus skeleton, with a punctured caudal vertebra, which is ideally suited, to the spike in the tail, of a Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus stenops, had four spikes on its tail, each 60 to 90 centimeters, 24 to 35 inches, long. The findings so far, confirm the thesis, that there were no more, than four spines, and they were arranged horizontally, not vertically, as they are usually presented. Researchers, concerned with how a creature, lived in the hostile, and wild Jurassic periody, with such a small brain, came to think of the hypothesis, of Stegosaurus having a second brain, on the back of its body, but this possibility, was soon discarded. Referenced by a cartoon, called, Far Side, created by, Gary Larson, in 1982, paleontologists, nicknamed the spines of Stegosaurus, Thagomizer. Among dinosaurs like, Allosaurus, Apatosaurus, and Ornithomimus, in 1982, the governor of Colorado, signed a bill, making Stegosaurus, the official state dinosaur. Some experts argue that, Stegosaurus may have been occasionally, capable of rearing back, 
on its two hind feet, especially when threatened, by a hungry Allosaurus, though, few people are convinced. There is a great chance, that your ancestors, at some point in evolution, walked on two legs. Not all stegosaurs, came from North America, some of them, came from Europe and Asia, Mongolia, China, stegosaurs genera, like Chialingosaurus, Chunkingosaurus, and Tuojongosaurus. Stegosaurus, was closely related to Ankylosaurus, the stegosaurs, of the late Jurassic period, were cousins, of the Ankylosaurs, from middle to late Cretaceous period, both of these dinosaur families, are grouped, under the larger classification, of, Thyreophorans, Greek for, shield bearers. The name Stegosaurus means, roofed lizard, reflecting the belief of 19th century paleontologists that this dinosaur's plates, lay flat along its back, like a form of armor. Various reconstructions have been offered up since then, the most convincing, of which has the plates alternating in parallel rows, pointy ends up, from this dinosaur's neck, all the way down to its butt, as to why these structures evolved, in the first place, that's still a mystery. What is still not known about it? The triangular plates, on the back of the Stegosaurus, have always generated, and will continue to generate, much discussion in the academic world, some of the hypotheses defended are, thermal regulation, ornament for interaction and communication, and self-defense, the latter hypothesis does not receive much credit. The digestive system, mainly in the mouth of the Stegosaurus, still has, some unexplained points, the paleontologist, Mirian Reichel, is working on it. About this creature, and the media, the Stegosaurus has participated, in several movies, series and documentaries. Participated in some famous franchises, such as, Lost World, Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. Animal Data. Scientific Classification. Kingdom. Animalia. Phylum. Chordata. Clade. Dinosauria. Order. Ornithischia. Suborder. Stegosauria. Family. Stegosauridae. Subfamily. Stegosaurinae. Genus. Stegosaurus, by Othniel Charles Marsh, 1877. Type Species. Stegosaurus stenops, by Othniel Charles Marsh, 1887. Other species, Stegosaurus ungulatus, by Othniel Charles Marsh, 1879. Stegosaurus sulcatus, by Othniel Charles Marsh, 1887. Synonyms, Hypsirophus, by Edward Drinker Cope, 1879. Duracodon, by Othniel Charles Marsh, 1881. Stegosaurus may have been slow, clumsy and not very intelligent, but his charisma is irrefutable. This fantastic creature, already conquered, and continues to conquer, the most varied types of public, these prehistoric creatures, although already extinct, continue to inspire, and participate, in millionaire productions. If you are watching the video until now, don't forget to like it, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.